Hello. This screencast shows how you can use Wing IDE Professional version 5 to simplify and speed up your Python development. Let's start by looking at some of Wing's editing and code navigation features. Wing can emulate other editors like Vim, Eclipse, Emacs, and Visual Studio. You can get around code easily by typing a fragment of a file or symbol name, by using the code index menus, or from the source browser. Wing's autocompleter uses both static and runtime analysis to provide context-appropriate completions in the editor and integrated Python shell. The source assistant updates as you move around the editor, autocompleter, and other parts of the IDE to show documentation, information about object inheritance, call signature, and links into Python documentation for built-ins and the standard library. Press F4 to go to a symbol's point of definition. You can return from there with the green history icons. Right-click to find all points of use for a symbol in any module in your project or any code that you import. Wing's refactoring tool reorganizes code without introducing errors. You can rename all uses of a symbol without getting confused by other symbols that happen to have the same name. You can select a range of code and make it into a new function or method. You can introduce variables for an expression. And you can move symbols around while automatically updating any points of use. Selecting code for refactoring or other edits is easy using Control up arrow and Control down arrow to select code in logical units. A suite of auto-editing operations further simplifies coding. For example, Wing auto-enters arguments when you type an invocation, allowing you to tab through the argument list. Wing automatically removes any unaltered defaults when you leave the invocation. You can also easily modify blocks of code by selecting a range of lines and pressing the colon key to create a new block with those lines. For blocks like try, Wing automatically adds accept and lets you add the exception type or convert it to a try finally block. Alternatively, press the colon key repeatedly to move the next line or contiguous range of lines under a new block. Other auto-editing operations include auto-indentation, auto-spacing, optionally in PEP8 style, and auto-correcting out-of-order typing. There is even an optional turbo-completion mode for Python, where every non-symbol key becomes a completion key, depending on where you are typing and what key you are pressing. Wing can debug any Python code, regardless of how it is launched or whether it's running locally or on another machine. You can also debug Django templates and unit tests run from Wing's integrated testing tool. Once you reach a breakpoint or exception in the debugger, you can inspect program state from the stack data tool, or you can interact in the debug probe, which is a Python shell that works in the current debug stack frame. Wing shows debug data values when the mouse hovers over symbols in the editor, and there is a watch tool for watching expressions or values over time, either by symbolic name or by object reference. Conditional breakpoints make it easy to isolate a particular failing case in repeatedly invoked code. The debugger can move up and down the stack or step into or over function and method calls. If you step past a point of interest, you can click on any line in the bottommost stack frame and move the program counter. Afterwards, stepping works from that point in the code. Because Wing's debugger is closely integrated with its editing features, running to a breakpoint is a great way to write new code with direct access to the live runtime state. And you can immediately try out your code in the debug probe or by evaluating ranges of code from the editor. There are many other features in Wing IDE, including a project manager, version control with difference and merge, an integrated PyLint tool, interactive and multi-file search, code snippets, bookmarks, and a tool for invoking external commands and build scripts. Wing is extremely configurable with many preferences, custom color profiles, and key bindings. 
You can script and extend the IDE by writing Python code against Wing's API. Wing comes with extensive documentation, including how-tos for setting up Wing with Django, Matplotlib, PyQt, Maya, Pygame, and many others. If you think Wing IDE may be for you, try a free trial from wingware.com. To get started using Wing IDE with your code, you'll want to create a new project from the Project menu. Select your project type, specify which Python interpreter you want to use, save it to disk, and then add your source directories to the project. At this point, Wing starts analyzing your code and any code that you import. If you modify the Python path in your code, you may also need to add to the Python path in Wing's project properties, so that Wing can find the modules that you import. This is described in detail in the tutorial and the quick start guide in Wing's help menu. Don't hesitate to email us at support at wingware.com if you have any questions. Thanks for listening.